Hi everybody, welcome back to the Canny Tally. Uh, my name is Zoe. If you're new here, I'm so glad you found my channel. And if you're returning, thank you again for coming back. This can only mean one thing. We have made it to the end of January. Well, I know it's not the end of January, but the end of what budget January. Um, obviously, like everybody else, we got paid way before Christmas. Pay slip here. Pay goes in for hubby tomorrow. Now... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Hang on, wait, I hide some details. I'll just see if I can do this. I don't know how if I'll be able to do this or not, but we'll, we'll have a go. Oh man, I can't even get it open. Right. Here we go. Can you see that? Four hundred and fifty-eight pound and ninety-six pence. We are going to be rich tomorrow. <laughs> yes, that is for a month. For anybody that's wondering, yeah, that'll be the last of his sick pay. I'm thinking. Um, so that's going in tomorrow, but it's still a pay. And then my pay goes in on Friday because I normally get paid on the twenty-eighth. And I don't want to date day twenty-fourth. So twenty-fifth. 5th is Thursday, 26th is Friday, ah, it's 28th is Sunday, so I'll be getting paid on Friday, so that's not too bad, so two days for me. Um, but we're still going to run with a budget the 25th of the month, like we normally do. Um, so yeah, first of all, I am going to show you some happy mail I got, I'll move this out of the way. So, this came today, and I have not opened it, but I know what it is, because I've seen the name of the sender. So I know where it's come from. So I am super, super excited for this. I think I mentioned it on my last video, uh, which was only a couple of days ago. So let's have a look. Oh, it's so exciting. Let me see. Thanks, gorgeous. Thanks so much, Zoe, for your order. I appreciate it from Sophia at Soap's Budget and Life. Let's see. Oh, oh, I love this. This is one of my new ones. Oh, just put that in. That's so kind. So thank you. Fuzzy run. And the little dashboard for it as well. Oh, look at that little cute cat. It is a cat, isn't it? Yeah, it is a cat. I think. Yes, it is. Oh, there's all the animals at the bottom. Roll a six-sided dice and mark off the number you land on and save that amount. First one to reach the finish line wins. For extra savings, keep going until all the animals cross the finish line. Oh, right, okay. So there's all different animals here, different characters. So whichever number you see, you always roll sixes or you always roll number twos or whatever. That animal will win when they cross the finish line. Oh, I love it. That's so lovely. Thank you so much. And dun, dun, dun. <gasps> IOU cards. I mentioned these on my last video, I think, because <laughs> I, I put an IOU in with a, a torn off piece of paper. Lush IOU cards. <gasps> love them. Love a bit of leopard print. I never used to like leopard print, you know, when I was younger. And as I've got older, there must be a bit of a bit lynch in us. Um, <laughs> I really like a little bit of leopard print now. And do you know what I really like it paired with? And you're going to laugh. Red tartan. Red tartan and leopard print. It's me. I've actually got a blazer. A, a red tartan blazer with a leopard print collar on it and cuffs. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. So can you guess what this is? I mentioned it in my last video. Can you guess? Dun, dun, dun. It's totally worth it. Every time I say it, I just love it. Look, it's toast. So what do I have? Let's see, we've got afternoon tea. I'm conscious of this ring light, that's why I keep moving because I'm not sure which way it's going to be hitting on you. Um, afternoon tea, so all the little cakes, they're worth £5, £10, £20, all different, totaling £70. bet these took ages to cut out and stuff, bless her. Because it's not as if you can just use a normal cutter for these ones. Bready or not, here I come. Obviously, gluten-free bread for me with my little gluten-free that's about the size of my bread actually you know when you have gluten-free bread that's pretty much the size yes how much is these um <laughs> so each loaf is 10 pound total in 60 pound 
Everything I brew, I brew it for you. Oh, I love all these songs. It's great. Each cup is £10 total and £60. And fill the jam jar. So £10 a section or £20 a section. Choose a side to save. Oh, that's good. So it depends on your budget. You can go for lower or higher and colour it in. So obviously, if you're going to fill a jam jar, it's got to be like red or purple jam, hasn't it? Unless you choose orange marmalade, I suppose. But yeah, a nice bit of red and then fill it up. That's lovely. It's really neat. And every slice counts. What I really want to do is use a bright yellow and pretend it's butter on this. I just have a thing. I just need like spread butter on them. <laughs> so total of £45. So I guess it must be £9, £8. I don't think they're £5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right, okay, they're £5 each. I wonder if it works the other way. 10, 20, 30, 45. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So you can either do each one as £5 or you can do the amount. So that's 10, 20, 30, 45. <gasps> well, I never I didn't know you could do it that way. So I'm so excited to start them. So I'm going to pop them back in their toaster. So my little mini gluten-free breads are going back in the gluten-free toaster with my little IOUs because I haven't started it yet. So that's fab. So for so anyone who's ordered that, you're going to be super excited when that comes. It really is amazing. So unique. Really, really unique. So thank you so for that. Right. End of January. Here we are. Now, this... Oh, here he goes again. He's watching Ted. I don't know if he was watching Ted last time or not. But... Oh, I'm, I'm getting the mouth in. Sorry. <laughs> um, so we're rolling over. Well, we rolled over into week five, should I say. It was only a couple of days anyway, 515. We brought in £35 savings out of our date night fund. What we had left over, we brought that in. Um, side hustle, we brought in 898 which was, I've got it written down here, 558 on Vinted and a top cash back of £3.40 was sitting. So that's £558.98 we had in. Um, TV Care came out. Well, electric buzzer went off last night, so I had to put £10 in. Um, so £13.60. Left with £5.45. Um, we had put £40 of food in. Because we brought money in from a date night, instead of going out to the restaurant, we decided just to get a takeaway because, you know what, after work, I'm just tired and I want to put my comfies on. And my hubby knows us so well. He's like, do you want to just do this instead? I was like, yes. Um, and bear in mind that I put on so much weight that only two pair of trousers fit us now anyway. So everything digs in. So when I get home, I just want my joggers on on my big Udi. <laughs> this, this is why I'm putting on weight because of these comfy clothes. So anyway, because we're ordered that then there was some left over the next day so then we had another kind of a meal or a lunch the little one had another tea because he loves his um chicken and noodles and rice and stuff and um, we had stuff in the freezer we could use as well so we just had a real mismatch of a week and um, i made a, a sausage mash dinner one night i think that's the only thing i really i know i made a nice stir fry as well a nice healthy stir fry one night but the rest of it was like freezer stuff so anyway we only spent nine pound 39 on food um five pound forty nine on home essentials. We've got the laundry stuff, but my husband decided to try the home bargains own make. Um it's like an orange box. I don't know if he's of using that. It's a great big one for five forty nine. And he sent us a picture at work. He was like, Do we get this? And I was like, Oh, I don't know. I says, I don't know about these cheap washing powders. He says, Well, I spoke to the girl that works there and she says it's really, really popular. She says it flies out. And I was like, hmm. I said, Well, we'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, it's not breaking the bank. Um, the first wash is done, everything seems alright, so as long as we don't get any mad skin reactions or stuff over the next few days, we'll find out that way, I suppose. But if anyone uses it, um, as I say, I'm not sure what it's called, but it is in a big orange box. Um, so we only spent £14.88 out of our £65 in the envelopes. So we've got left £530.50. Um, we're date night out the £30 we brought in. We only spent £31.70 on my takeaway, so I just put the change in my jars and stuff. So that was four ninety eight eighty left. left. We put £10 in a, um, oil and we put £10 in a visit home. Um, so that was £20. So four seven eight eighty is left. We've rounded up £9.87 
some of that was our top cashback money actually that is going into the pennies roundup which goes straight into my monzo high interest pot but i'm going to do that here with these now so the pennies makes pounds by cashback cute once this is done i'm going to be purchasing the laminated version so i can just wipe it off and write it on the back um, as i go through them because it's getting there really well so we've got nine pound 87 and we'll take 68 off We'll take 67 off. I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take a bit longer. There we go. So we're doing really well on that one. Um, we're almost halfway, I suppose, um, and the smaller numbers there. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to finishing that one. So, what have we got left? Right, let's see what envelopes. So as I say, I only stuffed a couple of them anyway. I think it was just the uh, the food and the home essentials. So that's all we're going to be emptying back out. So we've got £20 there. Right, let's see. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, £13. So £20, I'm going to write this down because I'll forget I've got like, memory like a goldfish. So, three left off there. Home essentials. We've got 15 left in notes. I might actually roll that over. Hmm. Now I'm going to put it in a home maintenance. And we've got so 15. We put in a home maintenance. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 50. Oh, the rest of them are empty we've got remember in there we've got 400 pound for the start of february so that's getting rolled over for a budget that will go straight into our food envelopes i think for the the four weeks um, and what have we got left in here i don't know what's this off i think i must have just miscounted stuff or it's my husband's change or i don't know i'm always miscounting stuff but as long as it works out in the end i'm not that bothered um, I'm going to do 30 pence separate. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's another 10. Right, so there's 80 pence straight away. going to go in the big mass of 10. So, 80 pence is going into here. I'll just have to do a 80 pence on it. Could have combined them, I'm not gonna bother. Right. Penny challenge. Right, let us think what I'm doing. I haven't planned this video as you can tell. Um right. Home money goes over into home maintenance. But what I might do is put five pound into coal and ten pound into home maintenance there we go we'll do that so five into coal and ten into home maintenance i don't think there's any more to go in the postcode challenge um i've maybe missed a couple i haven't had a chance to have a look actually oh there was someone on al i know there was and i remember um who was as well she said her brother was watching us from there so what color have i not done yet i haven't done red but i don't really want to do red um i'm gonna do yellow let's do yellow so we'll do AL. AL definitely has been done. It's not the best colour for a video, but I know it's done. So I'll cross AL off. Um, oh, and TD. That was done as well. Scottish Borders. Because I remember having a conversation about querying why Gala Shields was called TD. So 
cross that one off. TD. So we'll need two pound for that for definite. I'll just write down here. But I'll probably change that once I um, check all the comments and things. So we're going to pop two pound into the postcode challenge. Right, let's have a look now. What have we got left? Is it confusing? Is having this? I'm asking you, like, in an answer during the video. You can't. It's not live. I was going to say, is it confusing you having the money on top of the book? It probably is a bit messy on the camera, isn't it? But oh, I've got an itchy nose. I'm going to get angry. Oh. Right, where am I up to? What am I going to do with this £20 first? I feel like I kind of need to do something sensible with it. I don't know. I could roll it over. No, I know what I'm going to do with it. I know straight away I'm going to put it in two. I know I'm not rolling the dice on this one, but it needs to go in. So I'm doing it, the brick challenge, because this goes towards our childcare. We've just got a price, a list of all the prices and stuff for the local after schools care that we're probably going to need. And yeah, we're going to need a lot of money, but it needs doing. So we need to start saving ASAP. Um, definitely monthly, ideally weekly. We need to be putting something away for it. It's like, if you have a book in advance, it's like 9 80 an hour after school care or it's £12 an hour if it's just less than 10 hours a week that you choose no 10 hours a month if it's less than 10 hours a month it's £12 an hour um, so I don't know anyway why don't you colour one of them in I'm going to put £20 in silly me so one two so much lush stuff on Etsy at the minute like every time I see it I'm messaging you on Instagram when you advertise it I'm like you stop making nice stuff we're trying to save money here and you're all making some nice stuff I am tempted to get my crafty side back out you know but not for savings challenges anything like that um, but I have got an idea up my sleeve and I'm like no can't be doing it I haven't got enough time but I'm like if I did it in a way that wasn't like a small business and I did it how I started my crafts, just like a hobby, and I just made one thing at a time, then I could be tempted just for enjoyment. But watch this space. We'll never know. In the future, the can Italian might have a little crafty side bit. Well, I already have the Henny crafts, but I might have an active side thing on I don't know we'll see certainly not yet right pop that in there and I'm putting 20 pounds in a child care write that down ding that was my pen hitting on the metal frame and um, child care right let's play some more games I love my games night the other night so I'm gonna do it again get rid of some of these pound coins let's see where they're gonna go gonna go to number six first so we are gonna go oh by the way I put the 50 pence in that I owed that um you know how I said instead of 45 pound I did 450 well I've made it the five pound I put it back in that I owed so six what is this one ah I think in the 90s okay um we are gonna go with floppy disks gotta love a floppy disk haven't you <laughs> I was trying to tell my daughter, explain what a floppy disk was, and she just couldn't get it. Oh, it used to make really like whirring noises, and it? it was I don't know if it was spinning around or what. Really, really strange. I never really understood them. One, two, three, four, five pound going into floppy disks. Wasn't long before the um, CDs came out after that. What was it before floppy disks? Could you use anything to save on a computer, or was there not even computers before for floppy disks? Who's old enough to remember what came before a floppy disk to save things on a computer? Anybody? Let us know in the comments. Or if you're like a historic nerd or anything like that, let us know. 
See, I'm actually interested. Tell you what, I've got to stop watching the news. I know I'm jumping from conversation to conversation, but I'm sure I'm not the only one in this. I've seen on the news about... I'm just going to say a certain country. I'm not actually going to say it because the way YouTube is and stuff, they'll probably ban the video. Um, yeah, like all this... like. World War Two coming back to World War Three and stuff. It's absolutely insane. I had to turn the news off because I started reading it and then I went from page to page reading all these different things and my anxiety started. I started feeling sick. I started sweating. I started getting really, really anxious at work and I thought I've got to stop looking at the news. So I had to just switch it off and get back at my spreadsheets and stuff because I was like, I can't be dealing with it. So when I was telling my husband tonight, he then started looking stuff up. So he started reading stuff out to us. I'm like, please, just, just don't read it. I, not to me anyway. I says, I don't want to hear it. Unless anything comes of it, I don't want to hear it. So is anybody else feeling the same? Like, how do you deal with it? Like, when you're stressing about stuff, any coping mechanisms? I mean, a lot of us have got kids and stuff, and oh, it, it's scary. So let us know how you're coping with news and stuff. But please don't write the name of the country in my comments because I don't know. If there's like a ban on things, I'm not sure how it works. Um, three. Anyway, back to fun. Let's go back to fun. Let's just zone out. Maybe big heavy thing. This was by Sam anyway. Um, I was wondering where I knew I had two different bundles: a bundle of freebies and a bundle I'd got from um Vintage of Mixed Things. This was a um a lady called Sam. Um, she kindly gifted me this. So thank you very much for letting us know about that. Um, I do like to know where I get them from. Whee, what's this? Paper. Ooh, it's going to be £8. Pounds. That's my next lowest one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's hope I don't get this one again because I haven't got that much to play with today. So, let's be black pen. There we go. What's going on there? Scissors and five in the 90s. Did I put the five pound in the 90s or did I just talk? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check. 10. Oh, I must have put it in there. It was 10 pound and a half. I'm gonna have to change that purple because you can't really see it, can you? I think. Okay, it's now got a yucky brown colour. Oh, come on. I just ruined it. Made. Right, where I'm up to? Not much left, let's see. Um, and then I'll have a little look at... In fact, I can't do the budget for next month until I get my pay slip, probably tomorrow. Number two. Number two is... Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, treat. This is my treat envelope. So I just put one at a time in here and we'll just build it up nice and slowly. So these are like little freebies, a little low um, amount, little trackers and things that I get and I'm just going to use this and then when it's up to like £20 or whatever the low amount is it'll just be for a little treat for myself for doing well for saving. I don't know why I'm waffing that, that's just cardboard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's a nice idea to have a little treat envelope in there. Number three is, oh, paper scissors again. <gasps> Let's hope we get rock. Oh, how about that? Put a pound in. Number seven. Number seven is oh man, rock around the clock. <laughs> Do I dare? Oh, I could use me new IOUs, couldn't I? Right, okay, let's play rock around the clock. Let's go for it. I played it wrong last time, so see if I can play it right this time. I'm just gonna. I've probably sped through all that, just so if I have if I have decided to edit the video and cut it all out, the game's not working properly because I haven't got the right dice. Um, so I'm gonna get the proper dice that I need, and then I'll be able to play it properly and actually show you how amazing this game is once it's played properly. Okay, so we'll just go back. We'll just pretend we haven't done that one. Okay, and we'll just roll. My normal dice. We'll go back to our games. We've only got a few pound left. So number two, which is 
Up to number two. Why is that one empty? Oh, sorry, that's that one. Uh, oh, treat again. It's another pound, isn't it? A treat. Oh, that's nice. I like the treat one. Just do pink again. There we go. And a pound into there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, yeah. Number one, which is Save the Air. So we're doing February, so these are £2 each. So we'll do another two. One, two. Let's buy plan budget repeat. There is seven pound left, I think. Oh, and the number seven for all the sevens. That's rock around the clock. I'm gonna put them back in there so I don't forget which one's which. Um we're not playing rock around the clock until I get the dice. So forget that one. Number four. Crack the code. I budget with Abby. Oh I did it! Look! Two and a one! Woohoo! I cracked the code! Crack the code. What about that? I didn't think I'd do it this quick. Where's my nice purple? Oh, there it is. Yes, I cracked the code. So that's three. So that's how you do it. Three pound. Let me just double check I've done it right. Uh, challenge completed once you match the lock or you've used all your keys. So I'll put the three pound in and let's see how much we've saved on crack the code. So we have saved 25, 6, 7, 8, 28 pound on Crack the Code. Awesome. I love it. I'm going to take that one out. There we go. Put that to one side for a minute. And then that one's not getting touched. I've got four pound left in my change. going in at number four that's funny that seven pound left went into number seven and four pound left is going into number four but we can't do it again because it's rock the clock number eight is house cup savings quest i can't do this one either mm, i need some more lower ones i think mm -hmm. Because they're higher ones, those ones. That's like a higher game. I can't do a higher game. Wrong dice. You alright, Dave? Number nine. Number nine is Scouse Girl. I think we'll just finish with Scouse Girl because I'm running out of small ones. So we've got £4 left. So I'll do number two and number two. There we go. And we'll put the £4 straight in the Scouse Girl. There we go, and that's nearly that one done, and then I can flip on to the next one. There we go. So, I'll be able to show you now what my plan was for when I finish a challenge. So, any of them that didn't have stickers on. So, for example, this is a Christmas one, obviously, we know that. This is my digital Monzo one. I'm going to put this back in so you know what I'm talking about. This is my 2025 booster, and this is my treat. The rest of them haven't got, they've got numbers on, but they haven't got where they're going. Because what I'm going to do with them is, apart from the childcare one, at the end, I'm going to do my emergency fund here, mm -hmm. bed from smaller challenges. So we're going to start filling this in. And we're going to pop it in here. So what I say that was £28. So is there a 28 on here? Let's have a look. There's bound to be a 28 somewhere. Um, shut up when you see it there, there's one. I don't know if there's one on every one or not. It's just this one. Okay. Colour this one in. Do we colour them in? Do we? Yeah, we'll colour them in. So we're going to pop £28 and that's the emergency fund. Um, Very well might need the emergency fund next month. <laughs> 
but I'm sure there's some savings challenges I can empty and whatever. Um, so there we go. We've made a start on save 2024 in 2024, which is for an emergency fund. So crack the code. It's getting put away. I want to keep that one though because I like that one. That will come back out again at some point. Um, I'm going to pop that one away. I'm going to fill the gap with one of the new ones. Um, let's see. Got that many. Let's have a look. We'll do one of these ones, I think. That one's too high. We'll not do that one yet. We'll save that for later on in the year. And that's too high. We'll not do that one yet. I still haven't done this one. I might save that one for Christmas. Um, mm, no, we'll not do that one yet. I might do block drop or will I do this one? Let's see if it's so pretty. Fives and tens. I'll not do that one yet. Roll the dice. No, nope. too many dice ones going on at the minute. Don't need a birthday one. Don't need a self care. Sorry, I'm just sort of working out myself. Each one's ten pounds too high at the minute. I suppose I could do Chinese New Year, couldn't I? Hmm. How much are these ones? Uh, add up the numbers inside. Now I'm going to do block drop. I'm going to put block drop in. We'll do fill the jar. Not going to do block drop. I'll put this one away as well. And as I say, I will be getting through all the savings challenges that I haven't done yet, um, just gradually in the way I've just done it. So we're going to put block drop into there's instructions for it. And we'll pop that in there. There we go. So that's now in the number four envelope. I've actually been excited for this month to be over just so I can get my money sort of put right. Um, but as I say, again, February is going to be a tough one. We've managed really well actually in January. I'm very, very surprised. And I can only see cash stuff and has helped that just massively. Um, I'll show you what we're planning for. Oh, shit, I mean, millions of dice and pens. Um, in February, our budget. So, oh, there's one. No spend days. As you can see, most of our days are spendy. The no spends are the greens. Um, I crossed them two off because I realised that's payday, so that's for next month. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten no spend days. And one was Christmas Day and New Year's Day, so yeah, gives you the gist of it. Um, I'll fill that in in a minute. No, you know what? I'm going to do this, please. It might take a minute or two, but we'll do it. So, in the big massive tin, how much did I put in? Um, I didn't write it down, did I? 80 pence, yes I did. So 80 pence went in the big massive tin. So, we think, well, <laughs> unless there's anything extra gone in, I've miscounted. We think there's 193.85 in the tin when we started this month. Um, I'll count up these. So there should be £206 in shrapnel in that big tin. No wonder it's heavy. Um, save the air, we put £2 in. So that's now got... Um, My husband is being weird. He thinks he's funny. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Stop it. I'm going to tell you what he's doing. <laughs> he's pretending he's being a peacock with his dressing gown and he's flapping his dressing gown around, pretending he's a peacock. Peacock calling for his mate. <laughs> yeah, he's not well. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Right, so pennies round up. I put 9.87 in so I can add this up. So 5.44 plus 9.08 plus 10.14 
plus 210 plus 9.87 is £36.63. That's really good. Um, as I say, that's a high interest pot and Monzo. If you haven't got Monzo, go and check out my link. Somebody used it. I wish Monzo would tell you who it was and it doesn't. So whoever used it, if you are on YouTube and you're seeing this, um, slim chance, but you might be, thank you very much for using my referral link. Um, and I hope you find it useful. I absolutely love Monzo. I think it's the best invention that's ever been. I know a lot of banks are trying to compete by putting like colourful little icons on your bank statements and stuff. It's not the same. Having the savings pots and being able to put them different places, it's just lush. And you know what I really love about it, I'm so sad, is the little clinky noise it makes when you get money. You'll be sitting somewhere and you'll hear clink and someone will go, oh, you got some money. And you're on my mum's all know what it is, you see. Anyway, nothing in Christmas this week um, because this is a five week month. So I'll just work out what I've got. So 80. 80 in Christmas now, which is amazing. Like, it's only the end of January and we've got £80 in already for Christmas for next year. Like, that's amazing. Um, rock, paper, scissors. I can't remember how much we put in for rock, paper, scissors. I think it was £8. Did it only play it once or did it play it twice? I stopped writing it down, didn't I? That's where I went wrong. Um, let's see how much we've got in first. We'll be able to work it out from that. Right, so we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pound. So ten, fifteen, twenty-five, twenty-six pound in there. So twenty-six minus twelve minus two. So we put another twelve pound in there. We already had two at the start, so that's twenty-six pound in rock, paper, scissors. Um nothing in the youtube envelopes and um, that one is only if a youtube youtube sorry payment comes in so that's got 86 pound in and um, treat did get some uh, again, i'm gonna have to count it so let's, we'll put two pound in a treat so that's got five pound in now um nothing in invest so that's still that was just an experiment on monzo but we'll let it sit and we'll just see um, premium bonds, 50, so no, it's not 55 going in, I wish. Nothing has gone in. £55 is sitting there. Who knows, one day we might win something. I very much doubt it with just that much in, but you never know. Um, bricks, we put 20 in. That's for childcare, so that we're now back up to just 20 on that. 90s got the floppy disk. Did it only get the one thing in? Or did it get two? I've just got the one thing in, so that was five, so that's now got ten in. Rock around the clock didn't get anything. We had put the 50 pence in, or shall I say I had, um, which is what was owed in it. So that's up to five pound now. Um, crack the code did get money. Um, we ended up having 28 pounds, wasn't it? Yeah. So, minus 19, minus 6. I put £3 in, which brought up to £28. And that one's complete. Okay, so I know not to write that one down in my February one. Where's the lie? We didn't play that this week. So that's still just got the £9 in. Tattoos, my husband, that hasn't got any more in. But it's got £90 in. Scouse Girl, we did put more in. We put another £4 in, didn't we, at the end? So that's £7 Scouse Girl's got in. Detris didn't get anything. So that's still just got the 14 And um, Postcode Challenge got £2. So what has Postcode Challenge got? 36, 65, 2 is 103. That's amazing. Right, there we go. That's my challenges filled in. So if you look at that, we have actually got quite a lot of savings. Um, it is all bits and pieces of cash here, there and everywhere. But do you know what? It's better than nothing. So we are rolling over. What are we rolling over? Let's have a look. I'll show you the layout first in my little diary. So many stickers. That's just, I just love stickers. It's just so nice. So these are all Valentine's themed ones. 
We've got payday, uh, hubby's payday, my payday, child benefit also goes on that day. Um, child maintenance goes in on that day. So the first week is going to be a lot of money coming in. And then the second week, there's going to be a lot of money going out. Um, and then nothing again till the end of the month. So one, two, three. I'm trying to think how many one. That's only a four week month, just over a four week month. That's not too bad. Kind of. We can cope with that. It'll be fine. So yeah, that's how the month is looking. Um, I'm going to do the month overview different to how I did it. If I open this up, I'll show you. So how I started the budget planner in January here. I wrote out the start of the month, what I was expecting, because that's what it says expected. So the income we expected and savings and gift and whatever else. The bills that were expected and the cash envelopes, what they expected. I think Jules does it the way that I'm going to do it. I think that's where I got the idea from. Um, instead of what was expected in, because I don't really need it, if I'm doing it weekly anyway, I think what I'm going to do is, a and so rather than the overview, I'm going to do like a review, a month review at the end and write in what was actual. So how much actually we did save, how much we did spend, how much did come in uh, and do it that way. Because of, if I'm doing it beforehand, I'm just writing it twice, really just adding it all together. So there's no point. Like the savings challenges bit was wasted because I didn't expect to put anything in the savings challenges. But if I write down what I actually did put in, then that would be a nice reflection at the end. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with that one. And then our week one of February. So mine and hubby's wages together, I'm expecting 2060 roughly. And um, we know what his is. Um, nothing else is expected in yet. Well, I haven't worked it out what I expected. Um, and I haven't wrote anything in yet, so I need to sit and do that. So sorry, that's a bit boring. I haven't got that sorted for you. Um, the rest of the month is just coloured in, just waiting. That one's not even coloured in yet, that one's not, so I kind of need to set it up. Um, I've done the death thing. Excuse me. So that is so nice seeing that right like that. Obviously I'm going to have the £6,000 or whatever on the, on the Tesco credit card. But it's just nice to see it a little bit tidier than the way it currently looked, which was that. All these different deaths and just combine them into just three so that's low in the all naught percent rather than like 24.7 21.9 and stuff um yeah so there you go and that's my savings challenges i might have to change the one um abby's where's crack the code that one i'll tip x that out and put a new one in there so thank you very much for joining me i'm going to get this sorted off camera um, and i'll speak to you all later bye